There has been a national debate about whether or not children should be playing football, but one local youth football league is doing their best to make the game safer. Our John Mafone stopped by practice today in Cocalico and now joins us live in the studio with more. John. Sam, the fear of concussions in football is real, and yes, football is a collision sport. But the Cocalico Midget Football Association believes being more transparent with information is the best way to keep football safe for kids. I want to be able to walk around, look a parent in the eye and say, we're doing as much as we can for the safety of your child. And here's, you know, with the education, technology, the information we have, this is how we're doing it. First year president Jeremy Weaver and the rest of the Cocalico Midget Football Association want the community to know that safety is their number one concern. The association brought in pediatric neurologist Dr. Andrew Stein Thursday night to address parents and coaches about proper concussion protocol. I want to make sure that everyone is aware of the symptoms of concussion and that they should be getting out of play as soon as possible because um, it is known through literature that if you continue to play after concussion that you have a prolonged recovery and a second concussion on top of a first concussion is a lot is potentially a lot more dangerous. Along with concussion education, CMFA is also turning to technology. Two players that suffered concussions last season will now be wearing special sensors in the lining of their helmets to help monitor big hits. There are sensors that can gauge the, the G-force of a hit and also what side the hit came from. And then that information goes directly to the parent's app every, every hit so that the way the parents can monitor and coaches can monitor uh, the impact of each hit. With the ongoing debate about head safety in youth football, Weaver said that technology and education is just as important for parents as it is the players. The best um, monitor we can have for concussion is the parents at home. So if we, can, if we can educate and inform the parents who are with the kids most of the time, that's huge for us as an organization, also for the long-term health of the child. Now the helmet sensors that show the intensity of hits range up to $150 a piece, but the CMFA says they are exploring fundraising options to get every player a sensor. Report, reporting live in studio, I'm John Buffone. Sam, back to you.